Hi. So today I'm going to talk about uh, a recent work regarding the ha ha hardness of approximation of maximum independent set in congest. This is joint work with o Ofer Grossman from MIT and Seri Se Khouri, who also helped with the with the slides from Ber Berkeley. Uh, so we are going to focus on the congest model of computation, in which we have a net a network of n nodes. Communication takes place in synchronous rounds. In each round, each node can send a message of O of log n bits to each and every one of its neighbors. We have unbounded local computation inside each node. Uh, and our complexity measure is going to be the amount of rounds. Uh, now, to give you some context regarding congest, well, there is an algorithm uh, that can solve any natural graph problem in O of M rounds, where M is the number of edges in the graph. And this algorithm is pretty simple. You just make all nodes learn the entire topo topology of the entire input graph, and then each node can solve the problem locally. For example, in this graph, you can think about the red node collecting all of the in 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 information of the input graph. Uh, as I said, to, today we are going to focus on the max is problem. So uh, in a given graph, we call a subset of the nodes denoted by S an independent set if for each pair of nodes from the set, they are, they are not connected by an edge. In the max is problem, we are tasked with finding the largest independent set, perhaps by weight, if the vertices are equipped with a weight function in a given graph. So for example, in this graph, these nodes are a max is, and these nodes are a max is. To give you some context about the problem regarding pre previous work, it was shown in, in previous work that in order to solve the problem exactly, uh, one must spend a near qua quadratic amount of, of rounds. Uh, a, a couple of years later, it was shown that even if one w w wishes to obtain a, a specific a constant appro approximation, one still needs to spend a near qua quadratic amount of rounds. On the, uh, on the upper bound front, it is known that if one wants to obtain a one over delta approximation to the problem, where delta is the maximum degree in the input graph, one can do that in polylog n rounds. And if one wishes to obtain a one over one plus epsilon times delta approximation, this can be done in poly log log n rounds. In, the, in, the, in this work, we amplify the previous hardness of a pro approximation re result by applying for the first time mu multi-party communication complexity in order to show lower bounds for, con for congest. This am amplification holds both, both in the appro approximation factor and the running time. So today I'm going to take you on a journey through the hardness of max is. And I'm going to start with describing the lower bounds for exact com computation of pre previous work. And then I'm going to build on, on that to show you how one can obtain hardness of, of a pro approximation. And then I will show how one can amplify this result using multi-party com communication complexity for, for obtaining our re results. But before I do that, um, I'm going to talk, talk ve very briefly about two-party communication complexity. In the two-party communication complexity setting, there are two players, A and B. Each of them receives a respective input, X and Y. And their goal is to compute some function F of their in inputs while communicating as few bits as possible. Um, and more, more specifically, we're going to focus here on the set disjointness fu function, which is defined as follows. F of X and Y is going to be zero if and only if there exists some coordinate I for which both XI and YI are one. So for example, these two inputs are not a disjoint, but these two inputs are disjoint. 
It is well known from previous work that any communication pro protocol that solves the set disjoint this problem requires omega of k bits, even for randomized pro protocols who possess shared randomness. Uh, and now I'm ready to talk about the actual lower bound technique that we are going to employ to achieve uh, our re results. And we're going to use reductions from communication complexity, while the exact low, low, lower, lower bound and the first result of hardness of approximation for max IS were obtained using reductions from the two-party communication complexity setting. Ours is the first result that obtains lower bounds for congest you using multi-party com communication complexity. It is wor 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 worth no noting that the two-party communication, com that reductions from two-party communication complexity is by now a we well-known and well-studied well te technique for showing lower bounds in, con in, in congest. And it was used for showing low, lower bounds for all types of problems such as subgraph de detection prob problems and distance computations and spanners and, and so, so, so on. And these reductions usually follow the, fo the, fo the following line. Uh, we construct some graph G and we partition its vertices to GA and to GB. We give GA to the we will give GA to the player A and GB to the player B. Furthermore, we are going to call the edges the, that cross the cut between GA and GB the cut edges. They are going to play a very important role in the resulting strength of our lower, lower bound. Now we are ready to give A and B their respective inputs, X and Y. And now, given those in inputs, a is going to make some changes to GA according to X, and B is going to make some changes to GB according to Y. Note that these changes can be implemented without any further communication between A and B. We call the resulting graph G of XY, and we are going to pick G, and we are going to pick the, parti the partition and the modifications such that the following will hold. It will hold that the graph GXY will have some property P, if and only if the two input strings, X and Y, are disjoint. And now you might ask, well, why does this give me a lower, a lower bound? We'll assume that there was some algorithm that, de that decides the property P for which we want to show a lower bound in T rounds. Well, then A and B could actually start simulating this algorithm on the graph G, while only needing to communicate over the cut, over the cut edges. So in order to simulate one round of, con of congest, they will need to communicate the size of the cut times log n bits. And in total, for t rounds, t times the size of the cut times log n bits. But due, due to this pro property, deciding p alla alla allows them to know whether the input strings x and y are disjoint. And so we have the following low, lower bound on this expression. And so from this expression, we can deduce the following lower bound on T. Note that the two most important parameters that, that, that will ultimately de decide the strength of our lower bound are K, which is the size of the input for A and, and B, and the number of edges on the cut. Now we can start describing actual constru constru constructions, start starting with the construction for the lower bound for the exact computation of max AS. I'm even going to make things simpler by showing a construction for the weighted version of max I, I, S. So I'm going to start with Alice's side of the construction. Uh, a is going to have some click of K nodes, denoted by A. And then there is going to be this ga gadget called bit gadget. And it consists of log K pairs of nodes. And you can think of each pair as representing a coordinate in a log k string, in a log k by, in a binary string of length log k, where you can think in each pair of one node representing the bit one and one node representing the bit zero. Uh, and now we are going to connect the click to the bit gadget in the following ma manner. We are going to connect a, a i 
to the complementary of the binary rep representation of, of i when one cons considers binary strings of length log k. So for example, a0 is going to be connected to the all ones because the binary representation of, of zero is all z, z, zeros. And a1 is going to be connected to all ones except for the first coordinate in which it is going to be connected to zero. And the construction is completely symmetric for Bob. So Bob is going to have the same click and the same bit ga gadget. Now, all I need to do to finish describing the fixed graph construction is how am I going to connect these bit gadgets? Well, each row in the bit ga ga gadget, I'm going to connect via a forza cycle where zeros are connected to ones and vice ver versa. Now, we are ready to give A and B their respective inputs. And given those inputs, they are going to do the, fol the following. Uh, given this cut. A is going to, to set the weight of AI to be L uh, if XI is one. And you can think of L as some sufficiently large param parameter, say 10 log K or something la like that. And otherwise, if XI is zero, that the weight of WI is going to be zero. And Bob is going to do the same for his click for, for vertices. And furthermore, the, the weight of each node in the bit ga gadget is going to be exactly one. So now let us go over the cases. Well, if the input strings are not this, this joint, that means that they intersect in some coordinate, say the first one, that is x0 is one and y0 is one, then we can construct the following independent set. We can take a0, b0, and their binary repre representations in the bit gadgets as an independent set. And thus we can obtain an independent set of weight 2L plus 2 log K. Now let us look at the case where the strings are, are disjoint. Well, the fir first case is, is if the independent set contains at most one node of weight L. But this is not a very interesting case because as we said, you can think of L as some sufficiently large parameter. And if we only have one node of weight L, then we're not going to get close to the value of the pre previous case in terms of the weight of the, in of the independent set. The more in interesting case is the case, well, when, we're, when we have two nodes of weight L in our independent set, but because our strings are, are disjoint, these nodes will not be of the same coordinate. So for, for example, uh, this independent set may contain a0 and b1. Know that 0 and 1 have different binary repre repre representations. So when we come to take their binary repre representations in the bit gadget to the independent set S as well, we are going to have a, prob a problem. More specifically, what I call a conflict in, in the bit ga ga gadget. Because their binary representation differs in some coordinate, we will not be able to take both of this node one and this node zero into our independent set. And we are going to have to lose one node at, at, at least from our independent set. <clears throat> so thus in, thi in this case, the weight of any independent set will be at most two L plus two log K min minus one. This, this gap allowed previous work to obtain a near linear low, lower, low, lower bound for the exact com computation of max is. Now let's go one step forward towards hardness of approximation. Now imagine that the Hamming distance between A0 and B1 was not one, it was larger. Then we would have more conflicts in the bit gadget for every such coordinate in which the binary representation differs. And we would lose even more uh, nodes from the bit ga gadget and thus obtain a larger gap. Well, what if we could represent the click, click nodes in su such a, ma a manner that any two nodes that are not of the same coordinate would have very, very different representations? For that, previous work employed error correct correcting codes. One can take in an error correcting code of length r and distance d and replace the bit ga ga gadget with a code ga ga that will now have R pairs. And for each two nodes that are not of the same coordinate, for example, A0 and B1, the representation will now de de defer in at least 
decoordinates. And so we will lose decoordinates. Uh, I'm sorry, we will lose D nodes from the bit gadget when, when we construct the independent set in the disjoint case. Um, so this says that if the strings are not this, this joint, there is an independent set of weight 2L plus 2R, but if the strings are disjoint, uh, the weight of any in independent set will be at most 2L plus 2R minus D. By optimizing R, D, and L, one can uh, get a highness of, of approximation result for max I, 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 IS for approximating max IS within a factor of 3 over 4 plus A, a plus epsilon, a, li a near linear lower, low, lower bound. And now think of it like note that the only place in this constru construction that we are losing nodes from are these code gadgets. Well, what if we had more code ga gadgets and more players? Perhaps we could have gained a la 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 larger gap in the solution value as well. Before all that, though, let us talk about multi-party communication complexity a, 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 a bit. And more, more specifically, let, let us consider the following problem that I, that I would call the promise set disjointness pro, pro, problem. In, the, in this problem, we are given t binary strings, x1 up to xt. And we want to differ, differentiate between the following two cases. Either all of those strings intersect or those strings are pairwise dis, disjoint. So for example, these three strings, they all intersect. But these three strings are pairwise disjoint. And, and it is known that the communication complexity of this pro, 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 pro problem, when, when we have t players, is n over t times log t. Now, what do I exactly mean when I say communication complexity? I need to, of course, define the model itself. Well, I mean the number in hand blackboard model of com computation. In, the, in this model, we don't have only two players, we actually have t players. And commu communication between them takes place by each player writing bits on a black blackboard. That once, once those bits are ri ri written, all other players can see, can see them. And our complexity me measure here is going to be the amount of bits written on the board throughout the pro pro protocol. And again, we are going to focus on the promise set disjoint as pro problem in our construction. So let us recall the harness of approximation construction for the two-party case. Each player had a click and some code ga ga gadget. So now let us uh, let me give you an example of how we use multi-party communication complexity in order to amplify the gap. And I'm going to keep it simple by only introducing one more player. So imagine there was one more player with a click of its own and, and identical code ga 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 gadget. And now for each two players here, that is A B. AC and CB, we are going to connect edges between them as if they are only the two players in the graph and we are still in the two-party communication com complexity hardness of appro approximation construct construction. So for example, if we look at the induced graph on A and B, it is going to look identical to the, to the hardness of approximation construct construction that we saw B before. And the same holds for AC and CB. Now the intuition here is, is that we are going to, use, to lose D nodes, not only from one pair of, of these players, but from all pairs of these players. So actually, if we use the promise set disjoint function that I described B, before, we would be able to lose D, 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 D nodes from A and B, D nodes from C and B, and D nodes from A and C. And thus we will be able to obtain a larger gap in the solution val value, depending on the outcome of the promise set disjoint fu function. Using such a constru constru construction, by, by using more players and optimizing the para parameters of the code, allowed us to obtain a half plus epsilon, a hardness of approximation result for max is. Using a very similar construction to this one, one can actually obtain a three over 
four plus epsilon hardness of approximation, which gives you a near quadratic low, 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 lower, lower, lower bound. But I will not get into that, into that due to lack of time. And now to, su to su su sum up, we presented here the first application of multi-party communication complexity for proving can just low, lower, lower bounds. Um, well, can it be used for showing hardness of approximation for other problems, such as minimum ver vertex cover or minimum dominating set? For the la 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 latter, we have no hardness of approximation result for any constant fa factor. And for the first one, minimum ve vertex cover, it would be cool to find out ha ha hardness of approximation results for factors that are smaller than two. And lastly, I want to finish with this major open question here, and that is to characterize the hardness of distributed optimization. What makes problems hard in congest? Can we find some property that if a problem sat satisfies it, then it has a near quadratic low lower bound and vice versa?